Hello and welcome to Kemper Bushcraft. Uh, those of you who have seen my previous video uh, earlier this week will know I'm out in Kemper Camp and I made a video about uh, new discovery from uh, 3D scannings uh, of the rune stones. But today I'm going to talk about my Viking uh, axes and my Viking knives and the story about them uh, because every one of my uh, axes and knives have a story that I would like to share with you, uh, knowledge about them and where I got them from, and so on. Yeah. And uh, first, I'll talk about the, my axes, and uh, I'll uh, generally say there's three kind of axes. Uh, there's the one that I can use for chopping woods, and then there's axes uh, that, that can be used in uh, battle, and uh, uh, last, the axes that you can buy and put on your wall uh, that uh, can not chop woods or not be used in battle. So uh, I'll uh, categorize it in the, these three, three categories and also uh, a, a B category at the end of this video. But first of all, I'll say this is my uh, Viking X. Uh, you all seen that. Uh, it's made of a, from a, a blacksmith here in Denmark that makes a really awesome uh, axes. And yeah, I love it. It's good quality. It's expensive. I made the handle myself and uh, the head is small. I can wear it uh, in my belt and uh, it's really good uh, chopping wood. Uh, I'm sure that the Vikings could have used this perhaps with a longer handle in battle. And uh, yeah, most Vikings uh, that was on uh, uh, warfare or uh, raiding uh, was actually farmers that was living in Denmark or Norway and Sweden. Uh, but sometimes during the year they took on the raids to other countries and uh, they always they should bring some kind of weapon and um, most of them have access uh, to red axe uh, so they brought them that was the most uh, uh, common weapon in the viking age i also got this little axe uh, same size almost as the one i saw as I told about before it's from grimfrost the little skeg ox and the skeg means beard and uh, it's called that because it has this shape. It's like a beard, you can see, like my beard. So that's why I call it a beard axe. It's a good axe, a nice little one. I used it a lot and uh, I also tapered the handle on this. When you get it, it's uh, even all the way down, but I tapered it. I think it looks better and I engraved some uh, runes in or some uh, ornaments in this. It's okay quality. It's not as good as the one I told you before. It's a little bit soft in the steel. And uh, there's actually a little bent here in the plate, as you can see here. But a good axe. They also make a bigger one, the large skeg axe. It's the same, uh, same shape, just bigger. Longer handle. You can use it with two hands. I also use this for chopping wood and it's uh, really good, but again, uh, it's not hardened uh, as good as uh, the one from the blacksmith. Uh, but I use this a lot and I sometimes bring it along on Mikan markets and so on. It's also from Grimfrost and uh, yeah, you go into the website, they have a lot of nice stuff there. Yeah, and then for the battle axe. As I said before, uh, most uh, Vikings, uh, particularly in the start of the Viking Age, used their axes that they uh, have back home and bring them uh, with them on uh, the ships when they were out uh, raiding and, uh, and uh, in warfare and so on. But later on in the Viking Age, they developed uh, axes that was specially uh, for use in battle. And uh, one of these is this little axe, or bigger axe, as you can see. It's very thin here, so it's not good for chopping wood, and it's not supposed to do that. 
Uh, it's supposed to chop a man down, took down in his helmet. And uh, yeah, and the most famous uh, battle axe is the Dane axe, as you can see in this picture. It was uh, developed uh, during the Viking Age and was used, and it has a very long handle. So you can reach long into the crowd when you are uh, in the battle. But I don't have such an axe. I have this one, and uh, this one is uh, also one I bring when I'm on Viking markets to show. And then I have this one. It's also a battle axe. It's what we call a mammon axe. A mammon is a place in uh, Jutland, Jutland, where I live, and it was found in a grave there. And uh, it's a really nice story. This one is also from Grimforst. It's not a replica, but it's inspired by uh, the Mammon period. And uh, these ornaments, as you can see in this picture, is um, uh, something that is special for this period. And uh, it has actually uh, been uh, named as a period in the Viking Age called Mammon period. So these uh, ornaments is uh, very special for this period and this axe. Um, again, I tapered it down. Um, and gave it a little bit of oil here. Uh, I like it. You can see these details with some leather straps uh, holding it on the shaft. Yeah, I like it a lot. I think it's a cool axe, and uh, this axe is always with me when I'm out on my Viking um, markets uh, with my tents and uh, have a special place for this. And uh, then for axes that you can not use for anything else but put on your wall. I found this axe on the internet. It's called a Rauner Lockbrook axe. It's uh, inspired by the series Vikings. And it looks very cool. It's a cool little axe, but again, not good quality. The head is going loose very uh, fast. I tried to secure it with a little uh, metal wedge here. Um, and it's okay, but uh, the steel is very soft, so if uh, I use it a lot, it will bend a little bit. So um, I, I think it's a cool uh, design, and that's why I bought it. But I have tried sometimes out in the woods, uh, they're not good for chopping woods and so on. Probably you can use it as a battle axe, but I only have it hanging on my wall uh, to look pretty. Yeah. And then last but not least, as I said, a B section or a B and this is this X. It's called a uh, Viking Hawks and it's an X I got uh, from the company that make these and it's for throwing. I don't think the Viking has uh, special axes for throwing. They could throw their uh, normal axes, the small axes, but this one actually worked very fine. Um, I've seen videos where the handle is broken because the Wood is not good enough for that, and the head goes loose, but my axe is okay. Uh, I used it uh, sometimes, but again, it's a very special design shape, and uh, I don't use it uh, for anything else but hanging on my wall, and it's not what I would call a real Viking axe. But it's yeah, this was my uh, little uh, thing about my Viking axes and uh, where I got them from and a little story about them. Then it's time for my Viking knives. And there are several categories of uh, Viking knives. Uh, these one, small one, this one, such one, this one, this one, and then this kind of knife. I'll start with this, these little knives. Um, these are called, this is called a finger knife. It's from Grimfrost and it has a little sheet. I made this one myself, looks better. And then well, this one is made uh, from a blacksmith here in Denmark that I got. And um, yeah, this one is called a woman knife. Um, and I guess it's because uh, these knives were used by women when they prepared food. It's a good knife for that because it's uh, easy to um, maintain and uh, clean. Uh, and I use this uh, sometimes when I'm preparing my food. Uh, a women axe, woman axe. 
and this one uh, I use when I fine cuttings. Uh, you can cut thread and so on, and you can also use it for your beard or your hair if you want to cut that. So this is a little special knife uh, from the Viking Age. I think it looks cool, and you can get them in all kinds of uh, shapes and uh, sizes. Then there's this folding knife that I just made. I discovered that in Hedeby uh, they found uh, uh, remains of a folding knife. So I got inspired and uh, made this. I made a video in my, uh, my DIY channel, uh, show how I made this from Andler and the blade I have. And this one is on my belt and my belt pouch. I can use it when I need a little knife for small tasks. And there's this knife, and uh, yeah, it's from Grimfrost. They call it a Viking knife, but I don't think it's something uh, they used in the Viking age. It's a hunting knife, they say, a little sheet for it, uh, but it's a good knife, very sharp and so on, good grip, but not really a Viking style knife. And the same with this knife. Uh, Knife. You can see a little raven head here. Um, a good, strong knife, uh, hand forged, and uh, yeah, it's very much a Viking style. But I haven't seen any uh, proof of this uh, in uh, in excavations, so I'm not sure that the that it is a, a replicate of a, a finding anywhere. But I love this knife, and I used it many times. And then, on the on the belts, the Viking also always have two knives: the sax, that will be the next one, and a little knife they could hang from the belt. And uh, this one is from Helle. It's a Viking knife from Helle, and an awesome knife, uh, carbon steel, hand forged, a red tang. You can see here. And it's a replicate of a uh, uh, finding in Norway, I believe. A nice little sheet for it. I put this one on so I could have it on around my neck, but it's supposed to be on your belts like this. And I also put this one on. As you know, I like to customize my things. But uh, this is the second knife they had on the belt for small tasks. And then for the sacks. Yeah. The first one I got was from Grimfrost. I bought this one and it's an awesome CX. I love it. It's a little bit long um, and yeah, uh, they c came in all uh, sizes. This one could actually be used as a little weapon, a little sword uh, when it was out on uh, raids and in warfare. Um, but for me, it was a little bit too big to wear. So, for some years ago, I tried to find a blacksmith that could help me uh, make my own CX. And uh, yeah, first, first I got in contact with a blacksmith in uh, Pakistan, and uh, he made this for me. You can see really awesome sheath for it. Um, I like. Uh, primitive uh, things. So this sheet is a little bit too flashy for me. Uh, perhaps if I saw, uh, want some kind of uh, festival or so, I can use it. But the sheet is okay. But the knife, yeah. When I got it, it was all black, and uh, it was because it has been uh, treated with too much heat. I could remove most of the uh, black from, from the blade but I didn't want my uh, bias. It was supposed that he should make this um, as a Kimber CX, a Kimber egg, a Kimber knife. Um, but when I got it, I thought I don't want uh, to sell anything or put name on anything that was not good quality. So uh, I said, no, thank you, unfortunately, um, because I think it's a great, size and a great little CX but yeah I didn't 
wants my uh, audience, my followers, to get something that I didn't like. So because of the uh, treatment of the blade, I felt a little bit unsure about this blacksmith. So I contacted one in, uh, in Canada who made the first gimbal sex for me and uh, then he bailed out. I don't know exactly why. And then I got a blacksmith in, uh, in uh, the UK, uh, Bearded Pig Force, that makes uh, my uh, CX now, the Kimber CX. And uh, he makes a good job. And uh, yeah, I can recommend you to go into his website and see, perhaps order one of my CXs. I carved in uh, Kimber CX, this one, and uh, some ornaments out here. So this is my main uh, knife when I'm out on my Viking hikes, um, together with my new uh, my new knife from Roselli. And uh, this is not uh, particularly a Viking knife. I try if I can get them to make a real uh, Viking knife. But also then, this is a really uh, good knife. I love it. I talked about that in a previous video. It's high carbon steel, ultra high carbon steel and it has a good grip so but it's not really a viking knife yeah and last i have this uh, knife uh, it's a yakut knife made in uh, russia and uh, yeah this sheet i made for it but if it should be a real viking knife i have to make another sheet for this i think it's a very interesting knife um, they used it for many hundreds of years in uh, the Yakut re region in uh, Siberia. And uh, yeah, I guess the, or perhaps the Vikings uh, had used such knife too. It's a really nice knife and uh, yeah, I love it very much. And it's very special, you can see here, it's uh, Scandi grind on this side and all flat here. <coughs> and then hammered out here. I made a video about this knife, uh, you can watch it, but uh, yeah, a really good knife that could be used as a Viking knife hanging from the belt. Yeah, and uh, this is all my Viking knives and uh, yeah, but I must say my CX, my Kimber CX is my favorite knife. I love it and uh, yeah, together with my new knife from Roselli. It's a good pair, I think, uh, to have when I'm out on my Viking hikes. So yeah, here you can see uh, all my axes and my knives laid out. So yeah, I hope you find this uh, little video about my Viking axes and the knives interesting and helpful if you are going to buy something similar. Now I will go into the uh, shelter and make my um, Chaka coffee. Now I put the water over the fire and uh, then I'll add this, it's called chaga. It's a fungus that lives on trees, um, mostly birth trees. Yeah, and it tastes really delicious. And these are also got from Benjamin from um, Netherlands and he told me it was from uh, Finland. I think it was one of his trips to Finland. He collected this. So uh, I just have to sit here, wait for it to boil, and it actually have to boil uh, quite a while because then the, all the good stuff in the chaga will uh, extract to the water and then I can drink it. This pot is from uh, Medieval Crafts. 
I have a link in my video description for that. Uh, I think it's about a year ago I was looking for a pot that I could use for cooking and I found out it's not so easy to make a pot that can uh, withstand the fire. Um, but this pot I used it once for a cooking soup um, so it should be okay. Um, I also got another pot that is also used uh, that is made by a um, a person here in Denmark, uh, but this one I know that it's good quality and uh, I love the design of it. So I'll see if I can bring some heat over here on the other <coughs> side. I think I rotate it a little bit. Yeah. Steam is coming up, so it will start boiling soon, I hope. And I can hear it starting to boil. Looking good. Yeah, and I started up a little uh, DIY project where I'm going to make a, a little model of a Viking longhouse uh, using some uh, oak wood uh, for this, the poles, and uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated in how the progress is going. Hope you enjoy that. Yeah, I think it's finished now. It had boiled for about 20 minutes and I can see it's beginning to be brown like coffee. I'll just take it off here, sit it here. Yeah, just let it cool off a little bit before I drink it. Then I can put the... It's a little bit difficult to make a fire round a pot is much easier just like this. And while I'm waiting I'll have my my cup and my special thing. Here it is. And uh, yeah, my little special thing is also good in uh, in Chaga coffee. Chaga is very healthy. Uh, it has good properties. They use it a lot in uh, in uh, Russia, I know. Also for uh, cancer treatment. They say it can cure cancer. Yeah. But it also tastes wonderful. Some people doesn't, doesn't like it, but I like it a lot. Yeah, then I just pour it over and then you'll see it's almost as uh, black as coffee. I'll bring you a little bit closer. Very brown. And then for my little special thing, Whiskey. Yeah. Let's go, everyone. And thanks for all the kindness of support you are giving me. Yeah. That means a lot to me. And uh, steady and slowly. I'm reaching the, the 100k. I don't think it will be this year, depending on how popular my video will be. I try to, but yeah, you know how it is. 
Good chaga. Yeah, now the sun is gone down by the trees, so it's not so uh, shiny in here. It's better for my footage, my recordings. Although I like, I like the sun. I think that was a crow or a raven that just flew by. You can see Cornelius on the alert. Yeah. Yeah, folks, this is all for now. I hope you enjoyed this little video from Kimber Camp together with Cornelius. Isn't this nice? After I cut his hair, yeah, trimmed him. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> remember to share and like my videos. That means a lot to me. And uh, so I can reach the milestone, hopefully soon. Yeah. Nice, nice day out here in Kimber Camp. I love to be here. I know a lot of you folks out there uh, think it's cozy out here too. So then I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye. Take care.